Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday to everybody. It's Daryl here. It is it is 3.45 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Um, what I want to talk about today is um, the way people that support our president, uh, the way they seem to admire and talk about his uh, him having balls, his uh, aggressive um, attitude. Um, the reason this came to mind is there's a there's a video here on YouTube. It's called I believe it's called uh, Obama deals with hecklers, and I forgot I forgot how good that man was at standing in front of an audience. Uh, there was three or four people. Quickly, I'll tell you, there's three or four people in the audience yelling at him, uh, blaming him, uh, obscenities. And he just stands there and he lets them talk. He lets each one of them talk until they run out of steam. And then uh, just takes control of the auditorium. It, it was a, it's a beautiful thing to watch. It's an amazing thing to watch. Then, I, I, after I watched this, I forgot. I forgot how good he was at that. Uh, I thought back to Donald Trump and his rallies. Uh, some of his things he said were, it was... Um, uh, kick his ass, send the bill to me. You guys remember that? There was a heckler, and he encouraged his, his people to beat this guy up. Uh, punch him in the face, send him home to mommy. Stuff like that. Okay, now I want to tell you a little bit about my background. Uh, my father died when I was nine. He taught me how to box. I'll probably put a few pictures up uh, on the thumbnail for this. He taught me how to box when I was three, four, five. He bought me boxing gloves. He taught me how to fight. He taught me in an old-fashioned way. Um, never take the first punch, which was a bad piece of advice. Um, okay, after he died, uh, I was a quiet guy. I was probably the biggest in my class usually, but I, I would uh, avoid confrontations. Um, after he died, we moved to the, a tougher part of town. And almost every day I encountered, I got, into, I, I got my ass kicked. I got stuff taken from me on a daily basis. And uh, after a while, I just started fighting back. And, uh, and I started getting good at it. And right around that period of 13 or 14, I grew. And uh, I grew taller and wider. And uh, the same people that were, were picking on me when I was younger were going out of their way to avoid me. Um, I've probably been about, this isn't to brag, this is just to give you an idea of how I look at these Trump supporters. Um, you know, I, I did a lot of, I made a lot of bad choices, drugs and alcohol. I've been in at least, at least uh, three dozen uh, fistfights in my life. Uh, more, you, a lot of them were with more than one person. I have gotten my ass beat beat uh, to the point where I was in intensive care once or twice. Um, I lost at least half of the fights. Anybody that, that's another thing. I, anybody that says they never lost a fight, I, uh, I, I look at it with uh, suspicion. Anyway, uh, I've learned, you know, and it, it was never a good feeling. Um, never, it, even, even winning, I felt worse sometimes than getting my ass kicked. Um, the smell, the smell of the blood. Uh, that adrenaline, that, and the worst thing was the loss. I felt like a loss of control. My the anger and rage just took over, and I, and especially now that I'm in recovery, that feeling is terrifying to me. The feeling of losing control. So, uh, let's just say, over the last 13 years, I, you know, everybody still has anger issues, and I, I'm doing that's my my last great hurdle. Um, but I've learned, you know, um, it, it takes much more, much more of a man much more self-confidence and skill to deal eye to eye face to face with somebody um, than to start threatening or actually fighting. And here's my point um, from my experience back before 13 years ago, usually the people that have that that can defend themselves that are willing to throw throw a punch. Uh, that have thrown, gotten lots of fights. Those people usually will not, will not talk shit. Um, right away, you you know, after you've been in enough fights, you know what's going to ensue. You you see the signs, 
there's no pushing, there's no shoving, no, you know, there's no antagonizing. You usually get right into it. And, you know, if somebody pushes you, you just hit, you punch. You don't, there's none of that, uh, you got a problem, no, you got a problem. There's none of that. I, I learned that the hard way. I learned that I got punched in the face by doing that a, a lot of times. It's the people that don't fight. That, look, you know, I'm not, if somebody chooses not to, to fight, that's, that's admirable. But encouraging others to fight and talking smack, talking shit like Trump um, is not admirable at all. And it's usually the people that would be the first ones to antagonize others, but run away themselves. Um, usually, usually the people with the biggest mouths are the ones with the least experience when it comes to this kind of thing. And again, I'm not saying, you know, um, physical altercations is just not, I have no respect for that. Um, it's the wrong way to handle it. It really is. And it, for me personally, it's never been rewarding. It's never felt good. Usually the, the more, the more I hurt the other person, the worse I felt after. And it bothered me longer. I, like I said, I, I, I could handle getting my ass kicked better than I could hurting somebody else. And uh, I think most people are really like that too. They might not say it. I'll refer you guys to a, a page on here, a, a channel on here called uh, Wes Watson, um, fresh out of the penitentiary. And he's a, a tough guy. Um, but he's learned and, uh, he, he no longer, uh, he, you know, he, he's, he's been in altercations and, uh, he, he's pretty much just saying what I'm saying that there's no, there's no manliness. There's no, there's, there's no respectability in acting belligerently like that, the way Donald Trump acted. When I hear these Trump supporters talk about Donald Trump has balls, um, what I see, what I honestly see, is people that were probably picked on a lot. People that are are too afraid, really, to, to, to stand up for themselves. And by these words, by supporting this, this guy they think is manly and has balls, they feel empowered themselves. I could be wrong, but that's really how... That's, that's one of the main main reasons I have for a lack, a real lack of respect for people that support our president as a man. I think I have more problems. Uh, uh, I have more problems with Donald Trump as a man, just as a human being <laughs> than as a president, like as a Democrat, anything to do with politics, um, his treatment of women, his, uh, I mean, you look at it, you look at him really. And, um, uh, I, I don't I honestly don't think he's ever lifted a hammer or a saw. He's never actually gotten any altercations. He's never these things he claims to be so you know so so manly or, and he has all these followers, but I you, you look at those doughy white hands and <clears throat> you know it, it's all a front. I think it, what I see in him is is really a lack of he knows this deep down too, and I think that's why he talks the way he does, and that's why people that think similarly think they see they think they see power in in what he is. But um, you know, people that have have lived a more aggressive and violent life know better. You know, so that's my point for today. Uh, you guys, check out that video. I'm pretty sure it's called Obama deals with hecklers. Uh, there's three or four, and I hear female voices. There's a couple male voices in the crowd, but it's amazing watching him deal with the, I forgot how good he was at this. Uh, and I miss, I miss, you know, not just him, but I miss having a president with that kind of just awesome self-confidence, um, speaking ability, way to handle people. That, that is, to me, that's a leader. Not necessarily, I, I, I shy away from using the term alpha male, uh, there's too many classifications and too many different uh, to put to put people into just one slot as an alpha, a beta, or whatever. So I shy away from that. But uh, he's a leader. He's a leader. And what we have now, to be honest, to be totally honest, we have a poser. He's a, he's a he's a weak man deep down, Donald Trump. All right. Hey, you guys have a great Friday. Stay healthy. Have a good weekend.